uh, sounds. Uh, are you with a, a specific group or just concerned citizen or what's uh, you have a title? I'm, I'm a registered nurse and I'm here with the Phoenix Urban Health Collective. Okay. Uh, tell us what happened because obviously today a lot of the story was building up saying, hey look, SB 1405, which we thought maybe that's going to be the next, you know, people hear that and it's going to be kind of its own thing, SB whatever, SB 1405, what happened? Well, we are here today to resist SB 1405, which would have essentially turned every hospital in the state of Arizona into a de facto immigration agency. And uh, thankfully, when they saw the level of resistance from the community, from the hospital industry, from healthcare providers, they recognized that it was a mistake and they withdrew it from this committee. So we know that this bill is part of a larger agenda by Russell Pierce, and we recognize that he may try to uh, get it back in the uh, Senate in some other form. But the person who was expunged this time had the sense to withdraw, and we thank her for that. And this was withdrawn by one of the sponsors in the House That's themselves. correct. The, the, the person who, who originally uh, put the bill on the table chose to take it out of the committee and not have it voted on today. So we're just here to say that as public health professionals, as medical professionals, we're a group of physicians, PAs, nurses, midwives, EMTs, and we're here to resist any kind of bill that is a threat to community health, especially when it perpetuates the criminalization of vulnerable populations with no discernible benefit for public health or for community safety. It's pretty wide known what uh, either Russell Pierce or other members of the Arizona State uh, Government there's a big push for, for uh, various bills surrounding the immigration issue, whatever that might be, and they, they come in different forms. Is this, do you guys see this as a victory, or do you see this as just a, um, are they sidestepping it a little bit, or are we going to see more bills? Well, you know, we see it as a small victory, and, and we're glad that it was taken off the table today. Um, but it is part of a larger agenda that we have to be, that we're very concerned about. It's not something that we see, you know, in isolation. We see there's a lot of bills being advanced right now and that have been advanced in the past year that have the effect of criminalizing vulnerable populations. And that's a serious threat to community health. It makes all of our communities less healthy by definition. There is no such thing as a healthy, oppressed community. And you're not convinced that you won't see another bill like this that would uh, alter uh, the mission or the role of, of medical professionals? 